For so long, people think, and still do think, Galoram was the sole cause of all problems in Accelerators. Not only do they still think it's her fault, but that she is inherently evil, and thus this creates the revenge against the Accelerons and hate for humanity, which is why she mutilates and lobotomizes other humans. The real problem is actually the Accelerons, but this is the real reason she lobotomizes humans. Glorum was stuck on Earth for thousands of years, abandoned by the Accelerons. Thousands of years. Just think about that. Not only does Glorum have faulty programming that the Accelerons gave her, but she has waited that long to exact her revenge. And she is basically conscious, something that would drive someone insane. That passage of time would make you crazy. And so that's why partly Glorum is basically insane. But there's something more. Glorum is one of a kind. She's the leader of the drones, the most independent, the most strategic, and yet she still has all these emotions. She's surrounded by those like her, but those that are not truly like her. Imagine being surrounded by people, but they are empty shells, or surrounded by people that do not have the same capacity as you. They can't feel, they can't think like you. And so in all honesty, I think Glorum is lonely. Although she does have someone to talk to, they can never truly understand or empathise with her. And so that's why she turns Kadeem and Maki into cyborgs, because then they would be like her. And although Galorum's actions are evil, I will still continue to defend Galorum forever, because it's cause of the Accelerons' faulty programming that she's like this.